Today I will talk about pumping power calculation by using Bernoulli's equation. So now here two reservoirs are there. So reservoir 1 and reservoir 2. So reservoir 1 has some liquid and liquid uh, is lifted through a pump. Okay, so from uh, that from reservoir 1 to that pump the pipe is connected and from that pump to that uh, reservoir 2 again pipe is connected so from that reservoir 1 to that pump so that is called that suction pipe and from pump to the reservoir 2 so that is delivery pipe now here if I take the reference line so this red line is a reference line from this reference line to that height of the water that that is h1 and then from that reference line to that height of the water of reservoir 2 so that is h2 and gravity always act in the uh, downward direction and both reservoir is open to atmosphere right now here if i apply Bernoulli's equation uh, 1 and 2 uh, so then what will be the Bernoulli's equation so that will be p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 plus g h1 plus eta wp is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 plus g h2 plus hf now here p1 by rho that is nothing but pressure energy per unit mass joule per kg and v1 square by 2 so that is kinetic energy per unit mass that is joule per kg and g h1 so that is potential energy per unit mass that is also joule per kg eta wp that is pump work per unit mass joule per kg and hf that is frictional losses that the per unit mass that is also joule per kg now here hf is nothing but uh, frictional losses so that we can calculate so that is 4f l by d v square by 2 so here f is the friction factor of the pipe the l is the length of the pipe d is the diameter of the pipe v is the velocity uh, inside the fluid flow and 2 is the factor and pumping power if we know the wp so if we multiply uh, a mass flow rate so we can easily get pumping power now this is the uh, uh, this is how the pumping power calculation by using Bernoulli's equation now here I am going more details so now you know that pumping power calculation is very crucial for understanding energy requirement in the fluid system so approach begin with the Bernoulli's equation to relate the fluid properties so Bernoulli's equation here is P plus half rho V square plus rho G H is equal to constant along a streamline now here p is the pressure of the fluid and rho is the density of the fluid uh, and then v is the velocity of the fluid and g is the acceleration due to the gravity and h is the height above a reference point now Bernoulli's equation is nothing but the energy equation so p half rho v square plus and rho g h if we add all this energy so that will be constant along a streamline now this is for real case uh, scenario uh, but this is ideal case not a real case ideal case scenario for when the viscosity is zero so th that is uh, by uh, uh, taking the assumption uh, the Bernoulli equation actually derived now what is the real case scenario real case scenario and if that um, here a pump is connected how pump deliver the uh, uh, pump deliver the uh, the fluid uh, to the reservoir too so I, I already talk about uh, what will be the Bernoulli equation now if you apply the Bernoulli equation uh, that uh, that ideal Bernoulli equation will be modified so that modified Bernoulli equation here so p1 by rho plus half v1 square plus g h1 plus eta wp is equal to p2 by rho plus half uh, uh, v2 square plus g h2 plus hf so p1 by rho and p2 by rho is nothing but pressure energy per unit mass at initial and final point so that is joule per kg half v1 square and half v2 square that is kinetic energy per unit mass at initial and final point that is also joule per kg and gh1 and gh2 potential energy per unit mass at initial and final points that is also joule per kg and eta wp that is pump pumping work done by the pump with efficiency eta that is joule per kg and hf hair losses due to the friction and other losses that is joule per kg now from this equation above equation so if we want to calculate pump work so that is eta wp will be p2 minus p1 by rho plus half v2 square 
minus v1 uh, v2 square minus v1 square plus g h2 minus h1 and plus h f so from here we can easily calculate pump work now we already describe everything so this is reservoir 1 reservoir 2 and we can apply bundle equation and now we can calculate the pumping power so pumping power we can calculate so power is nothing but uh, eta wp into mass flow rate so power that is pumping power that normally in what n wp pump work done by the pump with efficiency eta joule per kg and m dot is nothing but mass flow rate kg per second so this is the way how pumping power actually calculated so power is nothing but eta wp dot m dot so first apply the Bernoulli equation first apply the Bernoulli equation and then from this Bernoulli equation we can easily calculate eta wp and then we can easily uh, multiply it if we multiply it with uh, mass flow rate then we can easily calculate what will be the pumping power so this is the ideal picture okay so here reservoir one reservoir two and i already talked about that that's it for this how do you calculate pumping power thank you